tomorrow, fellow citizens. Tis I, your trusted king, King Gerald III. I'm here to proclaim that as of tomorrow, you will all receive a brand new iPad. You are all welcome, and I expect you to thank me in person and to shower me with tons of gifts because I am the best king you've ever had, of course. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did I hear that right? Did you just promise everyone in your kingdom a brand new iPad? Why, yes, Matthew, that's exactly what I did. The people love their king. Well, that's one way to put it, but can you really make that big of a promise? Well, I mean, sure. I think it's in the budget, and if not, I'm sure we can just raise the taxes again. Man, you shouldn't make a promise that you can't keep. You especially shouldn't make your people pay for their own gift. Listen, I keep promises all the time. Just the other day, I promised the castle clown if he could do a 360 double axle front split, I would throw him in the dungeon. The dungeon of doom. The, the dungeon of doom? No, 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 the dungeon of doom. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I am the king, and I am the ruler. What I say goes. You know what? You are right. You need to, oh, wait, what? I am? Well, yeah, you're the king. But a good king keeps his promises to his people. <laughs> you know what? I don't have to listen to this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? Oh, sorry, got here, Mr. Sprinkles. All right, we're just gonna continue. There's a story in the Bible where God kept his promises to the Israelites while they were fighting other kingdoms in their land. When we turn to this story in the book of Joshua, we find Joshua and his men outside the city of Jericho. Jericho was a city with high walls and doors closed tight so no one could get in. God told Joshua that in order to conquer Jericho, he and his whole army would have to march around the city. While they marched around Jericho, there were seven priests who were continually blowing their trumpets all the way around the city. You know, like, ah! and they would have to do this for each day for six whole days. Then God told Joshua, on the seventh day, march around the city seven times. All the while, the priests sounding their trumpets. When they had finished their seventh time around Jericho, Joshua commanded the people to shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The army began to shout at the top of their lungs, ah! and the city walls collapsed with a big boom. Boom! The people rushed straight into the city and took it. God kept this promise to Joshua and delivered Jericho over to the Israelites that day. Hmm. I guess I don't need to be making promises that I can't keep. Yeah, God is our ruler and he has total authority and control of all things. He has plans for our lives. In the book of Proverbs it says this, Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Hmm. I shouldn't be leading my people astray and letting them believe in empty promises. I need to be an honest king that does right for his people. Well, I hope that you follow through on your promise. God has big plans for us. We need to choose to listen to him and obey the king of kings. Mm -hmm.